time now for our business update, and I'm joined by Yuka Roye here in the studio, starting with uh, this global trade treaty uh, that Donald Trump had said he would not do. Now it seems like Washington might be reconsidering. That's the TPP, the trade the Trans-Pacific Trade Partnership. It's a massive trade deal that was signed back in 2016 by 12 countries that border the Pacific Ocean, aimed at boosting trade and countering China's influence in the region. But Donald Trump uh, called it a disaster and pulled the U.S. out of the deal as soon as he took office. Now, as his trade battle with Beijing escalates, he seems willing to reverse that decision. Selena Sykes has this report. An unexpected U-turn on a deal he once called disastrous. U.S. President Donald Trump said he will reconsider the Trans-Pacific Partnership, a free trade pact with primarily Asia-Pacific countries. An idea already floated back in January at the World Economic Forum in Davos. Well, the president has made clear in Davos and before Davos that he was open to discussions about TPP. This is simply reinforcing existing views that he had expressed early. Negotiated under Barack Obama, the multinational trade deal involved 12 countries that border the Pacific Ocean, including Canada, Australia, Mexico, Singapore and Japan, with an annual GDP of nearly $28 trillion that represents 40 percent of world trade. The pact aimed to deepen economic ties between these nations by reducing tariffs, and also wanted to counter China's rising economic clout in the region. But the U.S. never made it to the negotiating table. Shortly after taking office, Trump signed an executive order, pulling out of the deal, a promise he made during his election campaign. Trump has now instructed senior aides to weigh up joining TPP, but said in a tweet he was only willing to reopen talks if he could secure a better deal. As fears of an escalating trade war with China grow, the president may now see the deal as an effective way to put pressure on Beijing. And we've got some reactions from Japan, the country Trump seemed to take aim at in his latest tweet that we saw in that report. But Trade Minister Toshimitsu Motegi welcomed the reversal as a sign that Trump recognizes the importance of TPP. He warned, though, that one can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. Take a, li take a listen. This agreement was forged, carefully taking into account different interests of participating nations. It's high standard and well balanced, and is also very delicate. Like something made of glass, it will be difficult to take only parts of it and reopen negotiations or change only parts of it. Now, as trade tension escalates between the U.S. and China, both countries are continuing to negotiate behind the scenes. And that's according to the head of the OECD. This comes as China's global trade balance swung to a rare deficit in March, as exports shrank 2.7 percent from a year earlier. But its surplus with the United States stood at $15.4 billion. Trump is demanding that Beijing take steps to narrow the gap. Washington says trade deficit with China stood at almost $380 billion last year. Now let's take a look at the markets now. Here in Europe, uh, major indices were all up at the start of the session just a short while ago uh, as fears over a possible US strike on Syria ease. As you can see, uh, modestly up uh, across the board there. Earlier in Asia, it was a mixed picture uh, with trade uncertainty that we discussed uh, weighing on some Chinese shares. Turning to the auto industry now, Volkswagen has appointed a new chief executive and announced a massive restructuring plan. Uh, Herbert Dies, known for his cost-cutting measures uh, when he was with BMW, takes over from Matthias Müller. The leadership change comes as the German carmaker looks to move past the diesel emissions scandal towards more self-driving and electric cars. Volkswagen shares have risen more than 1% following that announcement. Meanwhile, Germany's environment minister warns the government uh, should not rule out requiring retrofits for diesel cars with higher pollution levels. Svenja Schulz criticised the German transport minister, who earlier uh, was too optimistic when he said that the country uh, could uh, meet emissions targets without imposing driving bans or ordering refits. Earlier this week, Chancellor Mer Angela Merkel played down the possibility of forcing car makers to make, make expensive modifications to diesel car exhaust systems.
And finally from me, a costly mistake by an employee cost Samsung some $140 billion. It happened last Friday when a staff at the Samsung Securities accidentally transferred at more than 30 times the number of the, of the company's outstanding shares. Samsung was supposed to, uh, to give a $2.8 billion dollars worth of shares to its employees at a thousand one one per share but the staff entered shares instead of one into his computer sending 2.8 billion shares worth 112 trillion one uh, we're get, getting lost in the numbers there <laughs> into employee <laughs> accounts it took 37 minutes for the firm to realize the error <clears throat> and halt trading by its employees the firm apologized to shareholders the point is it was costly right it was fat very finger costly. very costly mistake fat finger costly mistake <laughs> lesson to our viewers proofread what you type <laughs> thank you you go you go with the roundup of the business news she'll still be